I have a document open here that's called waves.jpg and you'll find it in the info folder. Now there's nothing particularly wrong with this image, except I'm looking at it and thinking, well, I'd use that on the front cover of an A4 document perhaps, but the ratio is not right. I don't have enough of the image to fill an A4 page. I'd need to increase the size of it, but how do I do it? Well, there is now a, a fairly straightforward, fairly elegant way of doing that in Photoshop. And I'm going to just go up to my, back to my crop tool to make sure it's active over here. And then uh, across the top, just make sure that the mode of the tool is set to ratio, meaning that we can click and drag and we can move the crop frame around anywhere we need to. Make sure that there are no values in these two fields. If there is, you can just click on the clear button. And then from here, well, we're going to choose content aware. So this is called content aware cropping. We're actually going to add something to the image rather than taking it away. And then from here, well, I want to make sure that the grid I'm going to use is going to be a finer grid. So rather than rule of thirds, which will give me nine squares in a grid, I'm going to choose the one that's simply called grid and it will give me much smaller grids. And then you won't see it change until in this case, we're going to extend the image off the top. So I'm going to hover my cursor over this handle just here. If you hover your cursor over there, it'll change to a double headed arrow. And then you can click and hold down the mouse at that point. Once the left mouse button's held down, you'll see your fine grid appear on screen. Start dragging upwards and then you might have to just push it a little bit up like so. I'm only going to add, say, four or five extra grid squares to the top in here. Let me just go an extra one in here, just like so. So to there, let go of the mouse. And then you can see that we've got a few extra grid squares in there. That, that should be enough for me to attain kind of an, or an A4 ratio uh, in there. When I'm done, go up to the top and then click on the tick. And that's when Photoshop does its magic, like so. So again, if I pick up my zoom tool, hold down the Alt key and left click, I can zoom out and we have now extended the image. Let me just show you that uh, edit, undo content aware crop. That was before, edit and redo content aware crop, that's after. So we've got an entire section up here which never existed. But Photoshop, what it does is it looks in the region lower down outside of the bit that we extended and it looks for anything that is similar. So any clouds, any bits of blue, and it essentially jigsaw puzzle pieces together to create that extra section. So with those edits now applied, we have of course made changes to this image and we need to save it. So you can save this document in the working folder as per the previous video, either as a JPEG or as a PSD, and then close that document down ready for the next exercise.